We're going to do a really fun circus cake today. We're going to do the circus tent, some little animals out front, and um, let's see what else we have time for. Okay, so I always like to kind of get an image, something I can kind of play off of. So, of course, my favorite thing to do is Google images and hit uh, like clip art. So circus tent clip art came up with this one. It's just a basic tent. Um, I think I'll still go with the red and white stripes down below, but I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do a solid color up here. Um, we'll see as we go. And we'll decorate our board and uh, things like that. So you can pretty much make your tent um, different sizes. It just going to start with a round cake. So I have an 8-inch cardboard here. I'm just going to start with an 8-inch. I have my cakes in the freezer right now. Uh, I always like to carve them when they're, they're frozen. So I have some different sizes here, and I'll just kind of play with them and see what I want to go with. It's always good to have extra cake because you never know. Um, I always like to do, you know, especially if you have extra batter, just go ahead and bake up some extra cakes. So we're definitely going to start with the 8 inchers here. So what I'm going to do is just kind of cut off some of the dome here on top, the crown of the cake. Now this could have filling in it um, if you want. And what you would do is normally cut each of these uh, 2 inch cakes in half and then uh, put the filling in there. Nobody's actually going to be eating this cake, so I'm going to be skipping the filling part. I'll just take a little bit of buttercream, place it on the board, and I'll go ahead and take off the um, paper and go ahead and place this on, okay? And then what I can do is sometimes you can go, like if this is 8, this is a 7, and then I have a 6 in chocolate cake. You can do that. Um, I think I want my tent a little bigger than that. So. I'm going to go ahead and use this as another 8 inch, okay, so right now we're using two 8 inch cakes, cutting off the top, okay, so I'll put a little buttercream here, like I said, this could be filled with whatever you want to fill it with, just make sure you put a dam of icing, a thick dam of icing using a decorator bag and just a coupler on it. pretty much any kind of filling in, in a cake like this. It's not really going to be sculpted very much. It's just going to be cut in just a tiny bit. So I'll flip this one over so I have the nicer part on top. And I'll take this off and then I'm going to go with my 7 inch. It's going to be placed like that, but I'm going to cut a little bit of the dome off here. Buttercream. Flip it over this way, like so. Okay, and then I can take my six inch. Mm, actually, let me see. This is um a little uh, is this a three inch or a four inch? I better measure. I think it's a four inch. If I remember correctly, yes, it's a four inch cake. Um. See, I want it to kind of come to the, from here kind of come down, but then come up to a point. And I think I want it a little, a little bigger. I'm probably going to end up cutting a lot of this one off. And then you could, probably instead of the 4 inch, I could have used a cupcake if I wanted to. So if you have extra cupcakes, if you don't have a 4 inch pan, that would work also. 